Uh, greetings, it's Bishop Peter Christensen, your bishop here in the Diocese of Boise. I take this opportunity to offer my sorrow to each one of us uh, in the diocese who have now heard that our masses have been suspended. We will begin that suspension of masses this weekend, March 21st, March 22nd, that Sunday masses, and then uh, that will carry through to through Palm Sunday, April 5th, but hopefully not the Triduum or Easter. We'll do everything we can with the knowledge we're given to make sure that uh, we are faithful to um, carrying out the, the recommendations, but also to carry out the opportunities that we're given. This is not an easy time. It is a time that uh, we um, probably have never gone through before. I had to announce last week to our young adults throughout the state that the ICYC, our Idaho Catholic Youth Conference, was canceled. Very painful thing for our young people and for their bishop. And now to announce to you that Sunday and all daily liturgies are suspended. A dispensation has been given to the diocese for uh, freedom not to attend Mass since there will be none. Uh, we will have daily Mass and Sunday Mass celebrated, but it will be a private Mass for the priest safeguarding uh, all those who would normally attend, and you to each other. It's a difficult decision to make. It's one I did not make lightly. I had to check with the uh, other priests in our diocese and also the coll collaborate with our neighboring bordering diocese, as well as our metropolitan uh, Archbishop Sample from Portland. We will hopefully, as I said, resume following Palm Sunday. I noticed that Portland Archdiocese will resume following Easter, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. Uh, the faithful are encouraged to participate in a prayer form that would give reverence to God on Sundays especially. Uh, you can live stream the Mass We'd ask that you look to our diocesan social media on how to do that, which will be posted on our website. Again, I'm sorry that um, we're having to go through this at this time. I would encourage all of us to be people who live a Christ-like manner, showing deep respect for family members and neighbors, fellow citizens. Uh, this is not a time to be greedy, not a time to hoard. This is not a time to be selfish. It's not a time to look after our own needs or be uh, agitated with others. It's the time to give and uh, to be generous and to be supportive. Uh, yesterday I woke up and thought I'd like to write a prayer, a prayer for myself really, yeah, but I'll share it with you. It may become your prayer. We'll post this as well. It might be a prayer for this time as we uh, uh, go through change. I titled the prayer, Prayer for This Day and Time. And I'll read it now. I'll pray it now. Lord, I do not know where these days, these times are heading, but I do trust that you are the one who always leads to the fullness of life. Therefore, I ask that your presence be ever more apparent so that understanding your care for me, I may also know of your deep and abiding love for others. O oh Lord, I will do my best to surrender to your loving providence at this time in order that I may be obedient in doing whatever it is that you ask of me. For I desire to entrust my life more fully to you as in response I offer myself more fully to the care of my brothers and sisters. Please, Lord, may your blessings be upon our world, on our nation, and my neighbors as by your grace and goodness shown to each one of us, we may desire together to follow your lead to wherever you head this new day and every new day of our lives. Amen. Thank you for your attention and uh, keep your bishop in prayer as I pray for our diocese, each of you. God bless.